Lithotripsy is a non-invasive procedure that is a day case procedure. You don't have to step in the hospital for that. It does not need any general anesthetic and it is very well tolerated by the majority of the patients. Before you come to us, you eat and drink as normal. If you have medication, take that as normal. You are fine to come on your own. You don't need a family member or a friend to drive you because you will be fine to travel home alone. If you choose to come via park and ride, there's a good service from all of the Oxford park and rides or also bus services drop you off fairly close to the main entrance. When you arrive, you just uh, check yourself in at reception. The, the receptionists are, are, are lovely and welcoming and th they, they, they will just take your details and, and let you have a seat. They will give you a specimen pot, which is for a urine sample, and ask you to wait in the general waiting area in radiology. If at this point you need to use the loo, by all means go and fill up the sample pot. If not, you can wait and do that at a slightly later stage, but it is important that we get a sample before we continue with the treatment. They call you in from the waiting room. They kind of run you through what you're going to be uh, due to expect. They hand your gown. And this is why it's good to bring a bag with you so you can put all, all your belongings in, in the bag, change it into your gown and be ready for the treatment. I felt really safe with the guys at the Churchill it's, it's a lovely team there, like, um, and yeah, you feel really comfortable. One of our radiography team will come and call you through for your x-ray. Before they x-ray you, they will need to check there's no chance of pregnancy. Again, they will check your identification. They will take you into an x-ray room. They will complete the abdominal x-ray, which takes a few moments, not long at all. They will then put you in a different waiting area, which is the lithotripsy waiting area, where the nurse will come and find you there to talk you through the next step. They just run you through the standard checks um, b beforehand, so the, the, the urine sample and um, obviously they take your blood pressure and they, they make sure you're, you're in, in a good state to uh, receive the treatment. Once the nurse or nursing assistant has completed your pre-checks, the radiographer has looked at the x-ray and we're happy to continue with the treatment. The nurse or the radiographer will talk to you in a lot of detail about the risks, the benefits of the treatment. At that point, you'll be asked to sign a consent form, assuming you're happy to continue. There's also an opportunity to ask questions at this stage. So you, you go into the room and you have to kind of manoeuvre yourself on, onto the bed, get comfortable, let the camera uh, rotate over you, locate the kidney stone, and then they can begin treatment. When you get onto the table, you will be generally lying flat on your back. We call that supine. Um, that generally is the best way for treatment. There are occasional rare changes in stone position, in anatomy, that may require you to be on your tummy, but we'll talk you through that if required. Once you get on the table, we use our x-ray camera that will be above you throughout the treatment to get you in exactly the right position so that your stone is perfectly targeted throughout the treatment. So once you're on the table and you're in the right position, uh, we're happy through our imaging that we're lined up and ready to go and that we're happy you're comfortable. We then need to put some warm water beneath your back. It simply is the radiographer with a jug of warm tap water pouring it beneath you so that there is a contact between you and the bed. We call it coupling. It's to enable the shock waves to travel because they don't travel through air. You can listen to your music, AirPods. They have a screen as well, which is literally opposite and, and you can choo you choose a DVD to pick to play uh, whilst you're uh, receiving treatment. We then drive beneath you what we call a therapy head. So it's a piece of equipment that will come underneath the bed and there's a cushion above it so it expands up so you'll feel it touch your back beneath the bed. That is a stationary piece of equipment. That's where the shockwaves come from. During the treatment, we move the bed very slightly up and down, side to side, to maintain the accurate targeting. They, sh they, will, they will shoot the sound waves through the water, um, through your body, directly at the kidney stone and it, it just sounds like an elastic band, like a and then they, they will slowly build up the, the kind of intensity and, and then you'll be able to feel it more and more. The treatment itself, some people say is very uncomfortable. Some people sleep through the entire treatment. It is really very, very variable. I think perhaps erring on the side of caution is a good idea. Take some paracetamol, ibuprofen, whatever your usual pain relief is. I would suggest you take that before you attend the appointment. It's a bit like a flick of an elastic band on your back perhaps a static shock, that kind of sensation. Through the treatment process, we do start at a very low energy 
and then we turn the energy up as we go through. So it starts a little uncomfortable. As we increase it, it might become a little painful. I always tell patients, if at this point, if you're coping and you're okay, then the pain is nothing to worry about. If it's too much, you tell us the radiographer and we can either turn it down, we can stop for a breather and pick up again where we left off, or at any point you can stop. You're not really aware of the time, you're just sitting there just watching the DVD, listening to your music on your phone. Time goes very quickly and, and it's, it's kind of one of them things, oh, it's over already, oh, that was fantastic. Yeah, I thought it'd be a lot worse. <laughs> the entire treatment of lithotripsy sounds very long, but it's 2,000 shocks. That equates to 33 minutes because it's one per second. The impact of the shock on the stone is ideally to break the stone into dust. Ideal world, you then pass urine following the treatment, the dust passes in your urine and you're not aware of it. That's the ideal world, it doesn't always work that way, it sometimes shatters into smaller bits. It can chip off bits, so you're getting a smaller stone. After the treatment's finished, they kind of lift your way out of the, the water, walk down the steps, get, get the towel, uh, dry yourself off and just get changed behind the screen. Good idea to take a plastic bag um, so you can just put your, your, your wet uh, clothes in the bag and, and um, yeah, just change into your dry ones and feel comfortable again. And when you're ready to leave, we will ensure that you have all the information you need about the next step in your treatment process. So you will go home on that day with a letter. On that letter will be the appointment that the radiographer has made for you. There will also be advice on there about your aftercare, how to look after yourself, a phone number if you've got any concerns. And once you're happy, then you leave the radiography, you leave the lithotripsy room and can go home from there. The most important thing is to drink plenty of fluid. As um, one of the side effects of lithotripsy is that you will bleed in your urine, that's nothing to worry about. But we encourage you to drink plenty to flush that through and hopefully to flush any fragments of stone that we've broken in your treatment out of your body. Immediately after the treatment, I've gone to the bathroom and I've passed urine, but all the urine has been blood. And I was a bit worried, so I went, <laughs> I went back and I told, I told the nurses, yeah, like, is, am I all right? Like, <laughs> I've just gone to the toilet and I've passed a lot of blood. Like, is, is this normal? They're like, yeah, this is completely normal. Like, did you have nothing to worry about? It looks scary, but you, you, this, this is just a, a side effect. We do treat each stone twice. We won't know how successful your treatment has been today until you come back to see us again and have an x-ray. So with that in mind, after your first treatment, we will always book you an appointment to come back for another treatment. With two or three sessions of lithotripsy, uh, the success rate is between 70 and 80 percent, depending on the stone burden again and the anatomy. And so everything is taken into consideration and tailored to one patient because it's not a rule of thumb for every single patient. It differs from a patient to another, depending on the medical background, anatomy and stone burden. If you have kidney stones and you're in pain, go for the treatment. Just you know, don't think too much about it. Go for the treatment, make your life easier because whatever you're doing at the moment is, 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 is a worse option. Don't worry, try and eat, drink, sleep, live as normal before your treatment. Come along prepared, bring your spare undies, bring your pain relief if you choose to take that. Bring along a DVD if you'd like to watch that, but don't be worried. We see lots of people five days a week. We're very experienced with all different people, all different abilities, and we will spend as much time with you as, as you need us to.